in the story for just joining us is that the private legal practitioner is threatening mm -hmm. to head to the Supreme Court to challenge the bill which is currently before Parliament. That is the anti-LGBTQ plus bill, which is before Parliament expected to criminalize all activities of LGBTQ plus community members and also to uh, prescribe prison terms to individuals who are caught engaging in these acts from five to ten years in some instances. Also criminalizing advocacy and promotion of LGBTQ plus activities. Hopefully uh, Bernard Shaw can hear me now. Now I was asking how exactly you mean when you say the bill in its current form violates basic human rights and some treaties signed by Ghana. Well, basically, it, it varies all the international human rights treaties that Ghana has acceded to, starting from the UN Charter to the Universal Declaration of Human Rights to the International Covenant, Covenant for so with the Protection of Women and Political Rights, back home, it, 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 it um, violates most of the provisions of the Chapter 5 of the Constitution, which basically uh, covers human rights in terms of um, the following articles, freedom of assembly, freedom of expression, respect for human dignity at Article 15, um, Article 20, 23 of the Constitution talks about the right to pre uh, privacy, and uh, a whole lot of things. The UN resolution on sexual orientation, resolution 2732, is also violated, as well as the African Commission on Human and People's Rights. Uh, resolution 275. So a plethora of and a gamut of a whole international uh, okay. treaties and Ghana's obligations. And don't forget we have right to fight all these conventions. Right. And, and so what are some of the reliefs you'll be seeking then? Well, that basically that the, a, a basic declaration that the law in its uh, current form, if it, if it's passed, uh, because obviously, I mean, Parliament, you cannot uh, stop Parliament from uh, bringing out a law if they are legislative function on there. So I can't, I can't go to the Supreme Court now. But if it's passed, and I'm hopefully it might not be in passed because of the uh, agitations that we have. But if it's passed, then uh, we go for a declaration that the bill and uh, the act then is not uh, in sync with the Constitution. And that will be the reason why Parliament has invited memos from the public at the last check, yes. some 138 uh, plus yes, memos. Right, yeah. some 138 plus memos have been received to fine tune the bill as it were, so yeah. they can have a document that will be accepted by all. But then, at what it's point do we have? It's not fine tuning. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to tell you. There's no only fine tuning. It's basic discrimination. Full stop. We are not in need. The, the, the bill should not be passed in any shape or form. It's not going to define this. I mean, because the basic aspect is that it discriminates against people. It is against their human dignity. Okay. And so the advocates who are for this bill have said that there's nothing human rights about this and that the country as we live in has cultural values that has guided all of us. And these cultural values and norms are also recognized when it comes to the statutes books as well. How do you juxtapose human rights arguments versus the cultural settings First and situations? First of all, First of all, uh, we are not ruled by it. Uh, morality and law are two different things. That's one. And two, what are Ghanaian cultural values? What are they? Define them. And how inimical is the uh, activities of LGBTQR people um, hostile or inimical to Ghanaian cultural values? That's one. But most importantly, uh, we live in a secular state and we are part of a committee of uh, nations called United Nations, and we have ascribed to international obligations of the UN. And for those who say it is not a human right, it's very laughable because the UN, who, which is the progenitor or the providence of all the laws that we have in this country in terms of the human rights, have detailed these laws. We enjoy freedom of expression, we don't we have freedom, freedom of association right to liberty, uh, and all these rights. Okay. And they are from this basic document, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. And this organization, the UN state, sexual orientation is a human right. And I've, I've referred you to the previous uh, the resolutions right. and, and mm -hmm. the documents that say that. So you, it does not, it is, it's even a non-starter to say that it's not a human right. 